What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with another video. Professional wrestling has had some career changing gimmicks that launched a wrestler to the main event. However, not every gimmick has been a sensation. Here are 10 wrestlers who hated their own gimmicks and what happened to them. Number 1. Steve Austin as the Ringmaster Steve Austin had just come off a short but highly regarded run in ECW where he mocked WCW, particularly Eric Bischoff and Hulk Hogan. Austin's mic skills were evident so you can imagine his dismay when the WWF informed him he was being paired with manager Ted DiBiase as DiBiase's protege, the ringmaster. Fortunately for Austin, DiBiase left the WWF, giving Austin a chance to lobby for a new character. This led to Stone Cold Steve Austin, changing wrestling forever. Number 2. Terry Taylor as the Red Rooster this one's common knowledge, but just in case you haven't heard it, Terry Taylor was reportedly given the Red Rooster gimmick because of his cocky attitude. One story has it that Vinnie Mac saw him and said something to the effect, he's walking around like the cock of the walk. That was it for Taylor, as the gimmick killed any chance he had of ever getting over in the WWF. Number 3. Greg Valentine as part of Rhythm and Blues Wrestling fans were surprised to see tough guy Greg the Hammer Valentine paired with the comedy act The Honky Tonk Man as the team Rhythm and Blues. When Valentine dyed his hair black, they were downright shocked. According to the Honky Tonk Man, Valentine resisted the idea. As he said, but Greg was always very much I'm Greg. I've got blonde hair, my father's Johnny Valentine, I'm a wrestler. I said listen, if you don't do this, dye your hair black and at least give us a shot. But he's gonna fire both of us. And that's eventually what happened. Because Greg just did not try to make it work. But now after all these years, he tells me he'd wish he'd went with it. We were going to win the tag team titles, but he just didn't want to do it, and it showed. Valentine eventually split with Honky Tonk Man, resulting in an uneventful run as a babyface. Number 4. Mick Foley as Mason the Mutilator When Mick Foley was invited to join the WWF, he was eager to play his character Cactus Jack. Unfortunately, like most wrestlers, the WWF wanted to give him its own character so they could license it and keep it as their own. Vince McMahon told Foley he was going to become Mason the Mutilator and work a high profile program with The Undertaker. Worse yet, Foley wouldn't get a guaranteed contract as Vince didn't use him at the time. Foley didn't like the name or the idea and was ready to walk away until Jim Ross talked him into staying. Foley talked McMahon into a few changes and Mason the Mutilator became Mankind, another icon of the Attitude Era. Number 5. Kevin Nash as Oz What's not to hate about a wrestler based on the film The Wizard of Oz? Kevin Nash was less than enthused about the idea and so were fans. Fortunately, the character didn't last long and after enduring the Vinnie Vegas character, Nash was invited to the WWF where he became Shawn Michaels' bodyguard, Diesel. Number 6. Al Snow as Avatar Al Sarvan's run in the WWF as Avatar, who put on a mask during matches, was noteworthy only for colour commentator Jerry the King Lawler noting Avatar reminded him of a karate fighter, a toy at the time. We'd like to say that the short-lived gimmick led to a better one, but it didn't. After Avatar, Sarvan worked briefly as Shinobi, a masked assassin hired by Jim Cornette to take out Shawn Michaels. He then had the misfortune of working as Leaf Cassidy, Marty Jannetty's partner in the New Rockers, an out of touch tag team based on the original Rockers. Fortunately for Sarvan, he got sent to ECW where he adopted the Al Snow character, finding success there. Number 7. Just Incredible as Aldo Montoya as bad as Al Snow was as Avatar, at least he didn't have to walk around with a mask resembling a jockstrap on his head. Billed as the Portuguese Man of War, Aldo Montoya wrestler Peter Palaco worked as Aldo from 1994 until 1997 when he was finally given his release. A trip to ECW saw him eventually transform into Just Incredible and his ECW career took off, ultimately leading to a reign as ECW World Champion. Number 8. Bret Hart as Cowboy Bret Hart Fans who read Bret Hart's autobiography may recall the WWF wanted Hart to ride to the ring on a horse to play the character of a cowboy. As Hart recalled, he told the WWF where he came from you didn't claim to be a cowboy, unless you actually were. Hart got to work as Bret the Hitman Hart and from what we can tell, he did alright for himself. By the way, be sure to check out our Behind the Titan Tron series on Bret and the Montreal Screwjob. Number 9. Shane Douglas as Dean Douglas one of wrestling's most outspoken individuals, Troy Martin went from a big fish in a small pond of ECW to the bigger pond of the WWF, hoping to finance his way through medical school with some big WWF paychecks. Martin transformed from the franchise Shane Douglas into Dean Douglas, a wrestler with a college professor gimmick. 
Douglas hated the gimmick and was ostracized backstage thanks to the political machinations of the clique. Douglas bailed on the WWF, returning to ECW where he was welcomed back as the franchise. And number 10, Cody Rhodes as Stardust. Cody Rhodes proved that he had a lot going for him, besides pedigree when he worked in the legacy, then branched out on his own. Although Rhodes was willing to do the Stardust gimmick, he felt it should be short term as he didn't want to capitalize on the work of his brother Goldust. He simply didn't want to be a nostalgic act with people thinking of his father or his brother. Then they said, well, why don't you shave your head, like Dustin? And then I was like, so I'm only going to be mini Dustin because Dustin is like 11 feet tall for some reason. And I even had a fight and they said let me do silver and black. Then they made it gold and black. Once it was clear he was stuck with the Stardust character, Rhodes moved on to New Horizons. He's now working in New Japan Pro Wrestling as the American Nightmare, a member of the Bullet Club. Well guys, there you have it. 10 wrestlers who hated their gimmicks and what happened to them. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.